The Education and Labor Committee meets this morning to examine strategies for ensuring better economic opportunities for young Americans. The summer or part-time job has traditionally been a gateway to future success for generations of Americans. In fact, every member of the committee can probably look, look back fondly on the first job at the corner grocery during high school or, to put a, to, or some other job to put gas money in your pocket every week. In my case, working back-breaking summer jobs at the local refinery helped me pay for college and escape that experience debt-free. These job opportunities not only provided needed cash to help pay for school but to save for the first car, but they also give young workers an introduction to what it means to work with others, for others, on a shift, and, and try to make a living. Unfortunately, these opportunities are scarcer for today's young workers than ever before. One, raise, one reason may be that workers are retiring later because of the shrinking pension benefits and 401k accounts. This means fewer newer opportunities for younger workers because older workers may stay on longer in order to rebuild their retirement security. The dramatic fall in youth unemployment over the last decade is startling. 60 percent of 16 to 24 year olds were employed in 1999. Today fewer than 48 percent have a job, the lowest level since World War II. This situation is grim, especially when you take into account underemployment. During the first quarter of 2009, workers younger than 25 had an underemployment rate of 32 percent. That is nearly 20 percent higher than workers aged 35 to 54. The financial crisis has had a severe impact on employment prospects for millions of Americans, not just the young. Indeed, because of the horrible economy, younger workers are now competing with more experienced workers for positions traditionally the domain of, young, of the young and less experienced. Until the economy as a whole turns around, younger workers will continue to be hit the hardest. But the recession has only made a bad situation worse for young workers. The falling overall unemployment rate among younger workers, 16 to 24, began more than a decade ago and has declined nearly every year. Even in periods of economic stability, fewer young people do not make the transition to the workforce. They face challenges of completing high school and obtaining skills that they need to succeed. For these young people, alternative education and job training models provide a critical link to the workplace. Today we will hear about some of these programs and how they are trying to meet the needs of our nation's most vulnerable youth. Teens looking for summer jobs have been especially hard hit. The unemployment rate among 16 to 19 year olds during the summer has increased by 113 percent compared to 10 years ago. By looking at this data, it is clear that, that the drop in employment is not just the result of a sudden shock to the system, but part of a larger, a longer, a larger trend. You cannot ignore the fact that 20 percent fewer younger workers are participating in the labor market today than in 1999. This tells me that more needs to be done. Perhaps we need to rethink strategies to help younger workers find meaningful employment in any economy. The consequence of reduced work opportunities among young Americans means fewer long-term employment prospects, less earnings and decreased productivity. Fewer work op opportunities also result in higher debt, more student loans, credit card debts and so on. If these dramatic trends are not reversed, our nation faces a potential generation of youth disconnected from the employment market. That's why as part of the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, we invested an additional $1.2 billion to beef up youth job programs, including summer employment opportunities under the Workforce Incentive Act. The additional funding of the summer jobs has proved successful. In fact, the, the Government Accountability Office found that most states they reviewed either met or exceeded the state's goals by nearly a quarter of a million summer jobs created. The House also has approved legislation to make an unprecedented $10 billion investment to help make community colleges part of our economic recovery. The Student Aid and Fiscal Responsibility Act will help prepare young workers for jobs in the, in the future and build 21st century workforces by strengthening the partnerships among community colleges, businesses and job training programs that will align community college curricula with the needs of high wage, high demand industries. Today's hearing will also give us an opportunity to look at other programs that serve young workers and look at ways we can expand the program that are making real differences. We will also explore new strategies, some developed by young people themselves, to ensure that younger workers can compete in the job market.